Good evening, everybody. My name is Dave Kelly, and welcome to Stampede City Sessions. Well, we are, we are so excited to have you here and those of you watching at home for this show. We've got an incredible guest and an incredible evening for you here tonight. The guest we have is Lisa Hannigan. And let me tell you a little bit about her before we bring her out. Lisa Hannigan had maybe what you'd call almost a regular job. She was a backup singer for Damien Rice for six years. And after six years, everything changed. In 2008, she took the step into the spotlight on her own. And her debut CD, See So, was one of the greatest CDs ever. <laughs> for, a debut for a debut CD, it went across the world, and one of the things that helped it go so well was the great music. One of the other things was a video for I Don't Know, one of the songs on the CD. That video was shot in the coat check of a pub in Ireland. The entire band was crammed in there. Well, she's gone to a lot of places in her solo career since that coat check, and now she's here with us here on Stampede City Sessions. Would you please welcome Lisa Hannigan. Lisa! Hello. Welcome, Lisa. Just a pleasure. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, um, First of all, and, and, and some of us already know you, but I have to say, is there anyone in Ireland who's grumpy? Because they all seem pretty friendly going by you. Um, there are. There's a lot of... We get grumpier as we get older. Do you? Yeah. There's an optimum age, and then it all goes hard. Do you wrong. plan on grumpy eventually? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Could you picture it? <laughs> no. Oh, now, no, I have my moments. Gosh. Now, here's the, tell us the name of the town you were born in. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in Dublin, but I grew up in a, uh, I, w I don't know whether I'd call it a town. I grew up in a, an area uh, called Kilcloon that just has a church and a school. So, how many, like, as I'll be honest, I looked up Kilcloon on the internet, and it said there's a population in the 2008 census, there's a population of 200 people in the area. Would that be about accurate? I would imagine so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, then, so then I did some math, because I noticed that uh, the, the video, I don't know, that we're talking about, has 1.7 million hits on YouTube, which means that everyone in your hometown individually has watched it 6,050 yeah. times each. Yeah. Or you've got a lot of fans, either one. No, no, that's the, it's 6,000 6, times each. If the, uh, that's the... That's how it works. That's how we, we roll in Kilcloon. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you you're the first person to say that's how we roll in Kilcloon. <laughs> Is there a gang problem there at all? Yes. Absolutely, and I, uh, the, the, the other place I spend most of my time is Baltimore and West Cork, mm -hmm. where there's a population, I think, of 400. So it's big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think they based the wire on it, that's why it's uh, <laughs> So what it is. Yeah. Finally, we get a deeper understanding of what it is. Yeah, yeah. Now let's say, because uh, the new album, Passenger, is all about home and being away from home and thinking of home. A lot of home themes in there. Mm -hmm. So if all of us here tonight were to go to your house, to your home for dinner, yes. what would you feed us? What would be <laughs> that thing that you would say, ah, oh, when people come over, I make this? Um, I actually make a nice risotto. The boys in the band can vouch for that. That's Is that right? My, that's my specialty. A lot of stirring. I've got a good stirring arm. <laughs> so it's hard to do that motion while on a microphone. You to, but you do it well. But it's sort of like that. You talk also <laughs> in, the, in, your, in your music so much about the value of home. What is it like to be on the road singing songs about being away from home? It's wonderful. I think when you're on the road, the idea of home sort of comes into sharper focus, you know? You, you get a bit nostalgic about it and you, when you're at home you're just sort of flicking the channels and meeting your friend for lunch whereas when you're away you sort of think of it in a more romantic way so I think that's why uh, the record is full of references to home because I wrote it when I was on the road so. well it's it's a beautiful record and we're really glad you're singing some of the songs for us from it one of the songs you're gonna sing a little bit later on is called not speaking of videos mm -hmm. that's a, a fun video and if you haven't seen it you have to go and look it up because by the end of it, you're covered in paint. Tell us a bit about that video. Well, um, the idea for the video was that all of the instruments would be played through the medium of paint. 
So Ross on drums has the little spray cans and I'm wearing a white dress and a white background and I have a white ukulele and he's spraying in times the drums on my, oh, on my skirt area. And then the bass comes in and I'm being pounded with purple paint and then the horns come in and I've got, so this was the idea, but obviously paint is a very approximate medium. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought it would be very clear that that was what was going on, but actually I just look like I'm being um, mercilessly attacked uh, with poster paint. Um, <laughs> but by the end of it, I'm fully drenched. I mean, I can't, I can't see, I can't, I, my mouth is full. I'm, you know, I look like a swamp monster from the deep. It's, but well, it was fun, it was fun. Well, here's the great <laughs> surprise. Everybody brought a spray paint with them here tonight. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm we slightly worried that someone <laughs> is going to heckle me at some point with, because I bought a, you know, a 20 euro ukulele from the shop, a white one that could be destroyed. And then I have my beautiful ukulele that's, you know, real. And um, I live in horror that somebody's going to, while it would be an amazing heckle. <laughs> <laughs> that's not encouragement, by yes. the way. Yes. Um, I, I'd be, imagine, I'd, I'd be... I'd be filled with sort of a mixture of admiration and, and violent rage. <laughs> <laughs> then that's, that leads you to the road to Grumpy. So yeah, eventually see? you get your, your dream <laughs> comes true. Let, let's bring the band up and you can tell us a bit about sure. them. Come on up, guys. Now, they're an amazing crew that you've brought with you here. And yes, I noticed... Uh, yes. They're very dapper. And would you... Would you introduce them to us here sure. as we're getting ready? They're all very dapper. Uh, this is, Ga is Gavin Glass. He plays piano and guitar. This is Shane Fitzsimons, who plays bass. Uh, this is Ross Turner, who plays drums. Donna Malloy plays trumpet and ukulele and, and... What do you call it? Glockenspiel. And John Smith, who sings and plays guitar. Well, Lisa, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take a quick break, and when we come back, you guys will play for us. How's that? Okay. We'll be right back. How's that, everybody? <laughs> Thank you. Um, this song is called... Uh, passenger, same as the record. <laughs> Walking round Chicago, I have smuggled you as cargo, though you are far. She said,
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us here in, in your beautiful city. <laughs> um, the drive, that drive this morning was, uh, I will never forget that, the drive from Vancouver to here. Amazing. But like I was in Lord of the Rings. It's long gone back, carry on from December. 
It is no matter if you remember more paper bag wine and too much bedside whiskey. I will roll my heart up. I will roll my heart up in my sleep. Now it is your.
How are you all doing? <laughs> um, thank you all very much for coming. Thanks so much to Lauren and Candice for having us. Um, I met them in a bar in New York and they said, um, go to Calgary, we have a thing and need something. <laughs> As you do when you meet people in bars. But, uh, you know, they, they were they were really serious. <laughs> um, and I'm so grateful for them for, for having us over and looking after us so well. And uh, yeah, it's so, it's so wonderful to be here. So thank you to them. <laughs> this song is called Little Bird. <laughs> Salted by your hunger, 
So many hearts on your sleeve, one for each feather, though you never see. Blue eyes bring bright light through leaves on the trees, from seeds that they grow where you sow. You never. So many days spent beside this alcove river. Now we're deep down, died into the marrow, and now with the tide, with all that you have and I hold, you'll never.
Thank you. Um, happy birthday to Jack. So we'll do this, we'll do this song for Jack.
Thank you.
Thank you. Pardon. Isn't she something? Wow. Am I, am I here or on stage? I knew that. This will be the part that will be cut. That's the beautiful man, uh, ukulele right there. This is the nice one. Look. Just, for, just for a quick chat and then I'll, I'll steal it from you. Is there, oh, sorry, I thought there was a magic button. You um, are, you are. This is my, this is my beautiful one. It's gorgeous. Don't just. <laughs> 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 Thank you. And really, I, I don't know what I was going to do with it, really. I was, well, just, just, just well. stay away. <laughs> yeah, stop looking at us. <laughs> so, so uh, same thing, clap, 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 I'll welcome them back, we'll chat for a bit, and then she's going to play her last song, which is going to be awesome. How's that for an assessment? I think we got it going. Okay, everyone ready? We're good upstairs? How's everybody in the choir seats up there? Now, is it true you had to sign a waiver to be up there? I heard they did. Okay, here we go. Everybody ready? Let her go.
Welcome back. Welcome back to Stampede City Sessions. Great to have you all with us here, and we're with Lisa Hannigan. Lisa, beautiful playing. Now, I got a question for you, and this is a bit more, a bit deeper, if that's okay. In 2008, you made a choice, and a lot of people in their, in their lives, things change, whether it's their career, their relationship, they move out of the house, they move into a house, something big changes in their life. You said in 2008, I'm a backup singer, things have changed, I'm going to step into the spotlight. Was there a moment for you where you said, okay, I'm going to do this? Was it a nervous thing? Did you? Because you could have just as easily said, I'll find somewhere else to sing, but you decided not to. What was that moment about? Well, I always wanted to make a record, so I, you know, that was always, I was always going to do it. Um, and then I had more free time to do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I just went and, I just went and did it. Well, you know, there was no big sort of existential crisis no. or anything. No. And if somebody, <laughs> and if someone here or watching said, okay, I, I need to do something. I need to make a change. This is, whatever I'm doing now isn't what I want to be doing. What would be your kick in their butt? What would you say is a reason to go out and do that? Um, well, everything worth doing is scary. So wh why not? What's the worst that can happen? Is probably you not giving it a go at all, I would imagine. Somebody, somebody someday is going to say, I was watching this show, and yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to do something, and then Lisa. So this <laughs> is what we did. We went around, and uh, I said, okay, we're, we're going to do what we call rapid fire. We do fast questions. You can't, you can't spend any time thinking about them. Mm -hmm. And you can't swear unless you need to. Uh, <laughs> and you just answer these quickly and, uh, and then we'll go from there. What town, are you ready? What town or city in North America makes the best tea? <laughs> there is none? <laughs> yeah. I'm skipping that question. I'm not even going to dignify it with an okay, answer. Okay, good. Very good. It's a trick question. What's... <laughs> Uh, who, who, what person makes the best tea in Ireland? Uh, I'm going to say Ross. Ross certainly takes it the most seriously. Oh, good. Uh, what's the difference between a good song and a great song? Uh, well, if we knew that, you know. <laughs> good, that's your answer. There you I go. <laughs> your uh, CD talks a lot about home. One thing from home you have to bring with you when you tour. Uh, tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a theme nice. emerging here. <laughs> uh, one thing from home you always wish you had. Uh, my pillow, actually, a nice, proper, my pillow that smells just the way I like it. Nice. <laughs> uh, those of us that are going to go on a big trip, what's the best TV series of choice for a bus? Deadwood. Very good. <laughs> nice. You fans. Though, though, be careful when you, you've watched many episodes of Deadwood and then ring your mother. Because <laughs> what you suddenly think is normal, uh, in a way of speaking, is not normal <laughs> and acceptable to no. your mother. Where is the paint splattered dress from the Knots video? Uh, it's it's uh, all dry and, and hanging up beautifully at home in one, Kikloon. One thing you learned from your mum? Oh, uh, everything. You're gonna, this is going to be tough then. One thing you learn from your dad, what's left? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to your mother, exactly. <laughs> Good. That, that, that's fair enough. Yes. Uh, Listen to your mother, that is the best thing to, <laughs> to learn. It's the safest thing, isn't it? <laughs> Well, we're, we're glad that you got, we have time for one more song. Are we ready for one more song? <laughs> we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have that from Lisa Hannigan, right here on Stampede City Sessions. And here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Stampede City Sessions. Here she is again, ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Hannigan. Through. In my heart 
Lisa Hannigan, everyone. Wrap around your words and take 
the shape of games he played. Thanks to Lauren and Candace, and see you back again soon. <laughs> <laughs>